Hi book lovers, it's Jenny at Julia Baby Jen with a Kindle book haul. Alright, so today I'm finally getting to my Kindle book haul. I said I had bought a ton of ebooks in the past few months and I haven't featured any of them in my book hauls recently. I keep forgetting to. So I made it a goal to just do a Kindle book haul to get all caught up on that. So you can see what so you can see what I've been buying on my Kindle, which is a considerable amount. That's most of the books I've been buying lately because of because of expenses, I guess. Um, I get them when they're cheap or on sale, so I don't know how many I have here. I just did a printout off of my Kindle because um, my Kindle's on my phone, which I used to record, so I can't look it up on there. Alright, so I'm going to start with the compilations, then I'll just go through through single books. And these go all the way back to January, so um, they're not in any kind of order after the compilations. So. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is a new book set that just released. It is a YA dystopian book set, 11 books. For $2.99, which is one heck of a deal. Um, it's called What Tomorrow May Bring, and it's all indie authors, although they're really up-and-coming type indie authors. I think they're all really good good books. I haven't read them all yet, but I have read um, the um, I have read The Moon Dwellers by David Estes, which you've heard me talk about before, I'm sure. Uh, so I have that book, and so now I have it as, as an ebook on my Nook that I think I bought and then an ebook on my Kindle that I think I got for free one time and then I have it as a ebook in the set and I have the paperback signed copy so I have like a million copies now of the Moon Dwellers. <clears throat> so um, I will give a link below for if you want to check out the set. It just released May 1st. The books that it includes it has Open Minds by Susan K. Quinn. The Moon Dwellers by David Estes, Prison Nation by Jenny Merritt, Day Night by Megan Thomason, Stitch by Samantha Durante, The An Annihilation of Foreverland by Tony Bertowski, The Girls of Al Alcyon? Alcyon, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, by Carrie, uh, by Carrie Caffrey, The Nearing Path by David Normoyle, the Rain by Joseph Turcotte, Virulent, The Release by Shelby Westcott, and External Forces by Deborah Ricks. So some really good uh, indie YA dystopian ebooks, and you just cannot go wrong with that price. So I'll link that below. Uh, the other compilations that I got, I got um, a couple other dystopian ones. I got um, Shattered Worlds which has six books in it. It has, um, and the main reason I bought it was um, for um, Ellie Casey. I do like her books. Uh, Apocalypse, book one. Um, and then Outside by Sh Shalini Boland. The Torture's Daughter by Zoe Cannon. Night of the Purple Moon by Scott Kramer. The Blemished by Sarah Dalton. And The Breeders by Katie French. So those all look like really good book so that's why I grabbed that one um, and then I found one that was called this is the end um, and this is another uh, dystopian I think these are adult books so I haven't read any of these yet um, and that one has let's see slow burn zero day book one by Bobby Adair the retreat number one uh, by Craig D. Louis with Stephen Knight and Joe McKinney. Diary of the Displaced, Book One, The Journal of James Halden by Glenn James. Earthfall by Stephen Knight. Contamination Prequel by T.W. Piper Book. Affliction Z, Patient Zero by L.T. Ryan. And Reversion, The Inevitable Horror uh, by Jay Thorne. So I think that has seven. One, two, three, yeah, that has seven uh, books in that one. And then the other one I grabbed was called Moon Called, and it's uh, like a paranormal uh, YA fantasy set. There's six books in it, um, and it has Beautiful Demons by Sarah Cannon. Inner Demons by Sarah Cannon, so th these are the Peachville High Demons, number one and number two. October Girls by Scott Nicholson. 
Rippler by Cindy Swanson, which I've heard is really good. Six Moon Summer uh, by S.M. Rhine, another one that I've heard is really, really good. All Hallows Moon by S.M. Rhine. So that's uh, Seasons of the Moon's book one and two. So that was a pretty decent set, I thought. So those are all the um, box sets I bought. And honestly, I love buying the box sets on Amazon for the Amazon Kindle. I think that is just a really inexpensive way to get a whole bunch of books. And the great thing is you can try uh, new books that you might not want to have wanted to buy separately. But when you get them all at a really low price, it makes it more worth it uh, to try it anyway. So those are really, really cool sets. I bought The Lost Code, book one of The Atlanteans by Kevin Emerson. That was on sale for $1.99. I don't know if it still is or not. You can check it out. Um, and I've been I've had that on my to-read forever, and I saw it was on sale, so I grabbed it. I got Flight Behavior by Barbara Kinsolver. I love Barbara Kinsolver, and it was on sale for $1.99, so I had to grab it. I got Stung by Beth Bethany Wiggins, which I have heard good things about, so uh, it's my my genre so I grabbed it it was $1.99 on sale uh, Sand by Hugh Howie was on sale uh, for a short time I don't think it still is it was $1.99 so I bought that and I've already read it and I loved it it was really good Hugh Howie um, I bought Austin Land by Shannon Hale um, there's a new movie that's coming out based off of this book and it looks really hilarious like kind of a almost a um, Bridget Jones diary style, but but it's modern day, but it's like this vacation land that's for people who love Jane Austen, and so it's like historical, they're in this historical setting, but it's current day. It looks really good, so I thought I would read the book, because I probably will like it, and I like Shannon Hale. Um, let's see, I got Pretty Girl 13 by Liz Coley, I've heard really good things about that, and it was on sale for $1.99. Um, I got Fuel to the Fire by David Stanaworth um, for free. I don't know if it's still free. He had it free for a little while. He's a indie author that I just recently met. And actually, I think he, I can't remember which books he gave me. He gave me two books to read and review, which I need to do soon. Um, so I will see if they're any good. Um, he does fantasy, YA fantasy. Um, and then we've got, um, let's see, Reclaimed by Sarah Guillory. Uh, which I've heard really good things about. It was on sale for $1.99. Uh, Alright, then I got The Al Alchemist by Paulo Colho and Alan R. Clark. The, um, the famous, the, everybody's seen that book. Y'all, The Alchemist. I haven't read it. It was on sale for $1.99. Um, I got a collection of Ray Bradbury stories for $1.99. I got Fireblood by Trisha Wolf, which has been on my to read for a while. I've heard it's really good. And that was on sale for $1.99. You can see why I buy so many Kindle books. I mean, when they're only like $0.99, cents, $1.99, $2.99, it's so worth trying them. I grabbed The Life of Pi by Jan Martel for $2.99. It was on sale. I got The Utopia Chronicles by Matthew Mather, um, which, I've, which looked really interesting to me. And... I think it was $1.99. I think it was on sale, a daily deal. I got Anomaly by Krista McGee, which was on sale for $0.99. Cents. I got The Goose Girl by Shannon Hale, which I have not read yet, and I've heard really good things about that book. It was on sale for $1.99. I think all of her books one day were, like, on sale. I got Winter Girls by Lori Hulse Anderson. Love Lori Hulse Anderson. That was on sale for $2.99. Uh, let's see, I got The Winter Witch by Paula Braxton, which has been on my to-read, and that was on sale for $2.99. And then I got a bunch of Melanie Dickerson books, which she writes um, historical fiction, um, fantasy, uh, fairy tale retelling type stories. And I read one of hers and I liked it, it was alright. Um, so I got The Healer's Apprentice, The Merchant's Daughter, and The Captive Maiden, and those were all $0.99. Cents. She, all her books were on sale one day. Um, and then I got A Certain Slant of Light by Laura Whitcomb, which I've heard really good things about. And I've had it on my to-read for a really long time, and that was on sale for $1.99. I got Out of Play by Jolene Perry and Ny Nyra Dawn. Um, so an N.A. contemporary romance. That was on sale for $0.99. Cents. Um, I got Dragonfly by Lee Talbert Moore, which um, I have on my Nook, I think. But it was free. For, it was free on 
Amazon for a short while, so I put it in, went ahead and grabbed it from my Kindle. Um, I've read it, but uh, let's see. I got Backward Compatible, A Geek Love Story by Sarah Daltrey and Pete Clark, um, which looked kind of interesting. I think it was, um, it was a freebie that they had. Every once in a while, I'll grab the freebies if I think they look interesting. I got Bittersweet Love by Jennifer L. Armentrout on sale for 99 cents. Um, I got Out of Time, A Time Travel Mystery. Uh, it's the first in a series by Monique Martin. That was a freebie. I got Feed by Mira Grant. That was on sale for $1.99. Um, I bought Into the Still Blue by Veronica Rossi. That was on sale. It was $9.59. Um, but um, I really wanted to read it right away, so I bought it for my Kindle. Because the other two, um, normally when it's a book like that that I really want to read in a trilogy I love, it's the last book I buy it in hardcover when it comes out, but um, the first two I have as ebooks. I don't own any of those books yet, so I figured I might just buy it as a Kindle book and save myself a little money, and I could read it right away. Um, then I got... Dra Dragons, I just bought this one, Dragon's Triangle by Christine King. It's a dull action adventure story, which looks really good. It's a World War II type of story where a uh, girl's trying to uh, um, research the past about her grandfather or something. It looks really good. It kind of made me think of Conan Verity, um, just some of the, the, uh, the synopsis. But it's a Kindle first right now. It's uh, going to be a new release next month. And so it's one of those that you can buy for $1.99 right now on the Kindle first. There was four of them and that one looked the most interesting to me. So that's the one I grabbed. Um, I bought Keeping Her, which is a Losing It novella by Cora Carmack. And I haven't read any of those books yet, which I really need to. I think I own several. It was $0.99 because it's just a novella. Um, I grabbed Losing It which was on sale for $0.99, cents. so I've had that on my tree forever. Uh, Pushing the Limits um, was on sale the other day. I don't know if it still is. You should look. It was on sale for $0.31 cents on Amazon. I'm like, I have never seen a book for $0.31. Cents. There must be some reason for that, but I don't know what it is. I, it might have been an, an error even. I don't know, but I grabbed it. Um, I have read it. I owned it. I had I had it as a book, but I swapped it with someone in a book swap, so I no longer own, have it. So I thought, oh, it'd be kind of nice to have the ebook if I ever want to read it again for thirty-one cents. Yeah, I got Real by Katie Evans. I haven't read that series yet. That's uh, at a uh, uh, contemporary romance, and that was a dollar ninety-nine. I grabbed Cruel Beauty by Rosamund Hodge. I've had that on my to-read for a really long time. And it was, I think it was $4.99, which isn't bad for a pretty new release ebook. I didn't think, so I grabbed it. Um, the Acropolis by R.K. Riles, uh, Melanie Bruce, and, and Melanie Bruce, and that's a freebie or has was a freebie. I don't know if it still is. This was back in March. Um, Mind to Tarnish by Janelle Fallor which is 99 cents, and it's a novella uh, that is a prequel to You Are Mine, which I really loved. So I grabbed that, and I just recently got her sequel. Um, I don't remember what the sequel name is right now, um, as a redo review, so I can't wait to read that. I grabbed Pulse by Patrick Carmen, which I've had on my to read for over a year, and it was $1.99. I have not heard anything about this book. Positive or negative, which is a, I can't believe I haven't heard anything about it. It looks like a really cool book. Um, it's a YA dystopian uh, book, and I'm really kind of surprised I have not really read, heard anything about this. So I hadn't bought it or anything. It hasn't been in my library. It hasn't had a lot of hype, I guess. So, But it, the cover looks amazing, and it sounds really good, and the sequel just came out. So they had Pulitzer on sale for $1.99, so I grabbed it so I can find out if it's any good. Uh, let's see, I got Aberrant by Ruth Silver for $1.99. I've heard good things about that series. I got Beautiful Ruins by Jess Walter, which I've heard really good things about. That's a chick lit type of uh, current day book, um, adult, and it was on sale, I think, for $1.99. It was a Kindle Daily deal, I'm pretty sure. Um, let's see, I got Lover Eternal. Um, by J.R. Ward, The Black Dagger Brotherhood, book two. I've only read the first book in that series. I have, I think, books three, four, five, and six. For some reason, I never got book two. I think 
I bought all the rest of them secondhand. I like the first book all right. It's definitely an adult. Definitely an adult. It's not for kids under 18. Um, and so I hadn't read the second one. I figured my library has it. I'd pick it up sometime. But it was on sale. All of the whole series, I think, books like one through eight or something, were on sale for $1.99. So I just grabbed the second one since I had read it and I don't own it. Then I got Born of Illusion by Terry Brown, which I've been wanting to read for a really long time, and that was on sale for $1.99. I got Blood Red Road by Mariah Young, which I do love that book a lot, and it was on sale for $1.99, and I forgot that I bought it as an ebook. I just bought it on Amazon. <laughs> I bought a used hardcover, though, so it was like, with shipping, it was like four bucks, so I didn't realize that I bought it as a Kindle. I forgot. <laughs> I bought The Nine um, by J. Elizabeth Hill, which is another indie author I really like, and this is the second book in The Mirrors of Brashan. I have not read it. I kind of forgot I had it. And the third book has come out, the last book, so I really need to buy that too so I can finish that series because I loved, 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 loved Bound. That was such a good book. And it was $2.99. It wasn't on sale. That was just the price of her book, which is not bad. I don't think. I was more than happy to spend that. And that's it! That's my Kindle uh, book haul from the last like five months basically. So quite a few books. Um, so anyway, the one that I recommend you buy out of all of those is What Tomorrow May Bring because it's the best deal. 11 books for $2.99. I will leave a link below so you can grab it. It's only available on Amazon right now. Um, but if you do not have a Kindle, I don't have a Kindle. I just have the app on my phone and I just read my Kindle books off my phone. And actually, I have a Nook, but I have my Nook app on my phone. And most of the time, I just read my Nook books on my phone, too. It's it's a little easier to take around. And I have a Samsung Galaxy S3, so it has a really large screen. So it's really easy to read books on it. So, Or you can, you can put it on your laptop and read it off your laptop. Even your PC, if you want to. If you have a comfortable chair, you can sit there and read a book off your PC. I've done that before. So, um... So yeah, even if you don't have a Kindle, you can still download the app for free on any device and and read your books. And I recommend if you do have not done that, that you do, because Kindle has the best deals for books. You're going to find much better deals if you want to buy ebooks on Kindle than you are Nook. I, you know, I like my Nook, but yeah, Kindle just has better deals. So anyway, I hope you guys all have a good day. I will talk to you later. Bye.